are you really bad at nail art? Well, guess what? This video is going to be for you because I have some super easy minimalist nail art that I ended up loving. And if you're not good at drawing or doing any kind of nail art, it's going to be for you. What's up, nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer, and we are going to do some super cute nails today. I want to show you also how I do these really easy full cover nails. Some people like to call them gel -X nails. I've seen a lot of people call them gel -X nails. So if you see the words gel -X nails anywhere, they just mean full cover nails that you apply with some kind of gel whether it's builder gel extend gel and a specific nail glue gel but that's what they're talking about and I just want to make sure everybody knows that when you see you know exactly what you're looking for my nails are already prepped my cuticles are pushed back I moved all the shine from my nails then I go in with dehydrator and two layers of primer it really helps for me to do two layers of primer especially because I like to use a HEMA free primer when I'm doing any kind of nail any kind of gel on my natural nails I really try to make sure that I'm only using HEMA free directly on my nails just because I do not want a gel allergy. I love my gels way too much. And for me, when I'm doing the full cover tips, I go with builder gel directly on my nails. I know a lot of tutorials and videos have people using a layer of gel base right on their natural nails to adhere, but for me, gel base just does not stay. So if you're having problems with your full cover tips or gel adhering to your nails or builder gel, builder gel directly on your nails is also an option. I know that most people, again, do need gel base for better adhesion, but for me, doing builder gel directly on my nails is the best option. Now, the tips and and the tips that I'm using are the bubble ones. They are my absolute favorites. I have not been able to find any tips that have fit my nails this nicely and stay as well. They're more flexible than some of the other ones I've used. So I have been able to really get them to stay. And for somebody like me who has a lot of trouble with gels, getting them to stay to your nails, it's super, super exciting. The set that I'm putting on is their coffin length, and then I'll go and I'll make them into almonds. I keep trying to do coffin. I'm telling myself like, oh, you can do this. Like, you totally can wear coffin shape. And then I look at them and I'm like, oh, I miss my almond nails way, way too much. I did put a layer of builder gel down. It's the OG Dip Powder Clear Builder Gel. And then I go through to apply these full cover jelly tips with Bubbles Extend Gel. And I'll link everything in the description. I always have everything linked in the description because I want to make sure that everybody can get all the products that I'm using in these videos if you like them. And there, the Bubbles Extend Gel works really nicely to apply these full cover tips. Everything adheres so, so well. And I will say, I had some trouble doing full covers for a while. Like, I really, really struggle with getting them. But what I realized was that, one, I had to use a lamp that actually works. I found out my flash curing lamp, the one of them was broken broken and like does not cure. So that's part of why it wasn't working. And then what I've also realized is it's just going to take some practice. I was putting like too much gel in or not enough gel in and I still sometimes like might put accidentally put too much or too little gel in but the more I do these full cover tips the better I am at seeing like which nails need how much like so for my thumbnail I need to use so much more so so much more gel uh, for my thumbnail because my thumbnails are so huge I know my hands don't look that big in the videos but I swear I have really large hands um so I end up needing a lot more gel than what you would think that I'd need. Now for my pinky, I don't need as much since my pinky, I want to say is like more the normal size nail but my other nails just are really really big once all your nails are adhered then you want to with the flash curing you want to flash cure for about maybe like 15 to 20 seconds and then you'll fully cure them for 60 seconds of the lamp then I like to go and use the panna uh, medium or panna fine bit and really seal in all my cuticles well make sure there's no builder gel or any extend gel stuck on my nails like on the top or on my cuticles and you're cleaning up anything that that accidentally came out then I went and I fixed up my shape since I just cannot <laughs> cannot seem to get myself to do the coffins then I go through and I shape to my almond shape that I like to do and now one of the nice things about these bubble full cover jelly tips is that they are already pre-etched on the bottom and the top so 
you don't need to go and buff the top to get everything to stay. And since I use to get your gels to stay, and since I use peel base on my nails, I always go in with a layer of gel base and gel top and cure each of those before I apply my peel base. That just lets the peel base pop off way easier. The video that we're going to be doing is focusing on these gorgeous gels from Melody Susie. And this is my first time trying Melody Susie gels. They sent me this pack. It's 24 plus 4 that says so 28 <laughs> 28 gels and this is my first time trying their gels so what I like to do when I first get a new new set of nails to try or a new set of gels to try is I like to look through and see like okay what colors are really speaking to me because you can see the colors from the lids like the basic color but I like to open them up kind of like pull out the color and see like what's the consistency of these gels are they really runny are they really thick are they a nice consistency those are all the things that I'm looking for when I first start looking at using a new set of gels and I really like the Melody Susie consistency it wasn't too thin and it wasn't too thick it was a nice consistency that wasn't runny but not so thick that my nails ended up being like super super thick now here's a little trick that I am doing if you don't feel like swatching your colors so I picked out three colors that I thought Thought I'd like it's this like super dark gray almost black and then like a bluish a gray with like a slight blue tint and an orange I felt like these were fun colors to put together for a fall mani and if you don't feel like putting all of the colors onto swatch sticks you can grab a lint-free paper towel or a lint-free wipe and just stick them just swipe a little bit of the gel color on there and see if you're gonna like them together that is my cheap trick cheap quick trick for if you're too lazy to swatch or you don't have time or you just don't feel like it i decided on those three colors it's just really i want to do some minimalist nail art I've, i keep seeing it like all over instagram and i thought all right i can do some of this like just some cool swirls and pretty much that's it and like cover cover part of the sides of my nails with these swirls and i've been trying to push myself more with nail art just do some really fun designs that are still simple that everybody could do if you are not great at nail art and i openly admit all the time i am terrible at nail art so if you see me doing something like you guys can all do it <laughs> art class was the worst class for me all through school uh I mean I struggled so badly just to do anything in art class so if you see me doing some designs on my nails you all can definitely definitely do them I wanted to put some base color down on my nails and use the orange as an accent so I use the darker gray it's like almost black but it's this gorgeous grayish color I'm, I'm looking at it right now as I'm doing this voiceover and I'll be honest I thought that the gray the lighter gray didn't have so much of a blue tint till I put on my nails but when I ended up doing it with the orange I don't know I just felt like it was a really cool color combination I'm trying really hard to do like different color combinations too and like step out of my comfort zone a little bit um which at this point like I'll pretty much wear any color I still don't like bright greens I don't know what it is about bright green but other than that I really really like them something that I really liked about these Melody Susie gels besides the consistency was that they applied so evenly and they were really nice and opaque in one layer those are things that I look for when I'm like testing out or trying out a new a new new gels if I have a gel that's really super thin and runny that's a no for me if it's super thick that's a no for me if unless it's a jelly like if it's a specific color that is meant to be a jelly and meant to be you know sheer like that then that's great and if it's not a jelly then I expect my gels to be pretty darn close to opaque in only one coat because I like to use gels for nail art so again those are all the different things that I like to look for when I am testing out gels and one thing that's really helpful when you're doing gel a gel mani or using gels for nail art is I like to use a little flash cure lamp I have the bubble one here and I flash cure for maybe like five seconds just just to make sure I don't accidentally like like I might accidentally butt my hand into something but I like the gel to just be set and not moving around at all like as soon as I have the place the correct placement for my gel and have it on my nail how I want it to and I've cleaned up my edges I just flash cure it so that I can fully cure all my nails at the same time at the very end and then I'll know that no gel has moved and started to like maybe drip off my hand a little bit I mean this gel stayed really nicely that was something else that I liked it really really didn't run and that to me is great because I'm super sloppy so I cannot do runny gels they just do not work for me at all I like I said I'm way too sloppy 
And this was one of my easiest manis I've done in a while. I was so happy. Like, I'm trying to do more gel nails just because I'm really enjoying playing around with the nail art. I got this new fun little glass palette off Amazon. I'll make sure I link that too, just so that I can see my colors really well. Sometimes I use colored nail art palettes, and I feel like my color just like the colors might not look as accurate as if they're on this clear one. So I really was I'm really enjoying using this little clear nail art palette recently and you want to use a really long striping brush for this. These ones I'm using now are from OG Dip Powder. I'll make sure I link that in the description as well. I totally thought that when I was doing nail art, I needed a short brush and I thought, oh my gosh, like I could never use a long nail art brush. I'll never be able to control it. It's just going to go everywhere. Well, then one of my friends said to me, you have to try the long brushes. The short ones are actually harder to use if you want to do some designs. Like the short ones are for, like if you're doing something really small, but if you're doing like squiggly lines or anything like that, try a large nail art brush. I'm like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. I finally did it and I absolutely love these long brushes. They work so well for doing the nice like lines, or not lines, doing the kind of, I don't know, squiggle lines, patterns, nail art that I'm doing right now. And it's nice because you can just load a little bit more gel on it and then fill in the rest of the area that you want to be that color. So if you make a mistake with gels, the awesome thing is that you can take some isopropyl alcohol on a little cleanup brush and wipe off part of the design because you already have your base colors cured underneath so using a little bit of acetone to wipe off the gel that's uncured that you needed to fix your design with is so so easy so make sure you keep a cleanup tool uh, I've gotten them most of mine are from OG dip powder then I have some from Target I can't remember the name of the brand that I use I've gotten some off Amazon basically you want something that's a little bit angled and it's thinner this way if you're going through your nails if you're going around your nails it does it's not like some big thing thick brush that clumps up everywhere and messes up your entire design. Something else that's really good when you are doing when you are using gels is you want to keep your layers pretty thin. If you make your gels too thick, if you make your layers of gel too thick, then most likely your gel will not cure all the way. And anytime you leave uncured gel on your nails, you risk getting a gel allergy. And especially if you're doing gels directly on your nails, you could also risk getting some moisture or something trapped under there. And then you would get greenies, which are like the big, you do not want to get those. That is, I forget if it's, I want to say it's like a bacteria or something that causes your nails to turn green from moisture trapped under them. I also decided to use the Melody Susie gel top and it is super shiny. I'm looking at my nails right now. It is so, so, so shiny. Uh, this is, I've had them on for, I want to say like, this is the fourth day now. I'm still loving this minimalist design. I feel like these minimalist designs are totally calling my name because for somebody like me who can't do much nail art, they still look really cool. And these colors were, ended up being so cool together. I just loved how they looked. And the whole Manny was like, I was, I'm really feeling this Zanny right now. I'm really feeling the gels. So if there are any other really easy nail art designs that you want me to try, you got to drop a comment and let me know. If you're still struggling with nail art, check out this next video and watch how I do another really easy design. Thanks so much for joining me today, Nail Crew.